Finances tak kurang ni tu ya. Abu Zak, apa tu? Pohon, pohon many years. Everything is big going to that certain time. Work on Saturday trouble. 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 So your addiction was alcohol, yeah. and we're going up for how many years? How many years, sister? How many years? We married three years now. Three years now. So was well, he drinking before that? Yeah. Before that, so as, as many years you're going through that. Yeah. All right. And um, since we pray with you, what first of all, what point? What point alcohol brought you to? How did you tell? How did you begin to feel? Be honest. Be honest. Just all right for us. You reach a point to take your life. You get fed up of uh, of the business of your home or can can control the 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 desire for drinking and all these different things. Whatever. Whatever. Sir, give it away because you start a plan. You start a plan to take your life already. You start to give away everything that you had. What Jesus, what Jesus did for you tonight? What is the difference? I don't know the difference. What is the difference? Tell them how you're feeling. Are you feeling for the alcohol? Are you feeling the drink? No, I'm not feeling for the drink. The taste, the desire has gone from you. Yeah. Come on, somebody. And for all these years, and you share your point of view as well. Well. He's my husband and I love him so much. We pray for our family and God bless us with this child and now we have another one. Amen. And I know like the devil is going to attack him so much that he didn't know which part of the day. Even though I pray and I read him, my mother, we pray and we read him by God. It's just for him to get delivered and I thank God for today. You reach here already? We're going to pray that you're not going to go back tonight. Amen. Every ancestor of Christ that we see that in power. We command it to be broken. You know that they want to be living in Jesus. However, you ask him to heal you. Ask him, open your heart tonight. Because I'm not the one that can heal you. Jesus is the one. Amen. People expect that the moment you pray, everything should have work out for them. The, the power is not ours. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. If we could have used it for our own will, then we could have become gods. And decide who will live or who will die. But we cannot decide that. Jesus decides that. But if we are led by His Spirit, the Bible says we are the sons of God. So God can lead us or lead people to us for they to be delivered and free. Amen, somebody. Amen. I come to an understanding, believing that the that when I was fasting 40 days and 60 days, amen somebody, and going on and on and on and on and on, I come to them and that I'm praying for people and asking God, why are you not healing them? Amen somebody. Why are you not healing them? Why are you not delivering them? But the answer was not in me or was not with God. The answer was with the people. Amen, amen somebody. The people that came to Jesus, they had the faith, they had the desire, they had the hope, they had the strength, they had the requirements. Amen. Not that they could pay for the miracle. Amen, somebody. Not that they were righteous or they were holy, but they knew how to accept Him into their hearts to receive whatever they desired. I admire the woman, the Seraphian woman that met Jesus. 
Amen, somebody. And I take that humility every time we find out of God. She said, Master, but even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the Master's table. Jesus told her before, I didn't come for you. I came for the lost sheep of Israel, not for the dogs of the earth. Amen. But when, when she began to open her heart, when she recognized who he is, she saw him as the Son of God, the Master, the Messiah, and she began to worship him as she said, Master. But even she didn't start up because of the word, who the hell is you? Calling me a dog and this and that and that. If there's a kind of honor and reverence and worship you must have for the presence of God. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And, and she dropped on her knees and said, but, and her daughter wasn't even with her because her daughter was too sick and possessed to bring her to before Jesus. Amen, somebody. And as your faith has brought in here, you come and you came and you told me that you will come in here, you will never come here. You try all that he, or you try all that he could to bring you in here. And in. Amen. And he not come in. But what you couldn't do, the Holy Ghost did because it's so hard. Yeah. So we touch your heart. To so bring you here. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ.